Kanye West is an American hero. He's the first big, big celebrity to say we really need to lead with love. We need to love the things that we hate. And he came out with his support for President Trump. But it's not about President Trump. It's about his bigger message. And we're going to look at Kanye West's tweets and what they actually said. Jennifer Lawrence recently came out for political unity. Roseanne Barr was on Jimmy Kimmel and she was basically saying, you know, we should have the right to think whatever we want, to support whoever we want, and love both sides. And that's exactly what Kanye West just came out with. And I think it's really, really important. The most important thing Kanye West has ever done. In fact, this is what will save the world. And people can make a million videos about really important topics and things we should be paying attention to. But you know as well as I do, people love celebrities. They love paying attention to celebrities. And so when Kanye West comes out and says, listen, we need to love both sides. We need to lead with love. It can literally change the world. And I am so excited that this happened. You know, I wasn't happy with the recent bombing in Syria. In fact, I was really angry with President Trump, despite the fact that I've been a big President Trump supporter. Of course, the first president I ever voted for was black, President Obama. You know, I have a black stepmom, a black stepbrother, a black stepsister, my best friend growing up, Jared, he was black. Again, the first president I voted for was black. So I was really, really disappointed when President Trump bombed Syria. But you know what? I still send love to Trump. I send love to the people in the Middle East that we're killing. You know, we've killed 500,000 children in Iraq at least in the past 30 years. A lot of our tax money is going directly to that. We need to be aware of that and we need to send love to everything we possibly can. But despite these recent events, despite what President Trump did, you know, I was happy to see the war ended in one day instead of 17 years and spending trillions of dollars like we've done in Afghanistan and Iraq. And I still support both Republicans, Democrats, and everybody that doesn't care as well. And I think that's okay. And that's why I'm so happy with what Kanye West recently said. I also love President Trump. I think he has a really good chance to do great things. In fact, I think he has a chance to really get to the truth, to get to some things that have been concealed. I don't think he's perfect. I don't think anybody is, but I have hope and that's okay. It's okay for me to have hope. It's okay for me to love Obama as well. And you can too. And that's why Kanye's tweets recently really are something that can change the world. They are so important. I can't describe how important these are. And of course, we have Kim Kardashian West coming out to defend her husband. And I think that's really great. We're going to get into that as well. We have Chance the Rapper saying all black people don't have to be Democrats, which I think is great because really political parties, there's a lot more going on above the political parties with big money that contributes to both. And by the way, we can send love to big money as well because a lot of us work for companies right now. We we shop with those companies and even if their agenda doesn't match ours, we can still send love to them. And I was really, really happy to hear President Trump come out in an interview just today and say, listen, Kanye West is right and Kanye West is great. Kanye West knows that we've got black unemployment at its all-time low and we've got Hispanic unemployment at its all-time low and that's a good thing. Now, what racist do you know that is happy that black unemployment and Hispanic unemployment would be at their lowest levels of all time? Literally, I don't think racist people would do that. I think racist people would throw bottles through windows and light houses on fire and do things like that. I'm not sure they would be happy about unemployment being the lowest it's ever been. The president being happy about those things is a good thing. Just remember, there could be actually an agenda to divide us. It's very important to talk about. And who would have this agenda? What would their agenda be? And even if they do, we can still send love to them too. But it can be very real. Who would have an interest in dividing us? Is there such a thing, divide and conquer? Just think about that. And that's what Kanye West is saying. Just Take a look at that. See if there is an agenda. Isn't it true that both McCain and Obama, big companies contributed to both of them? They really just buy off both sides. Political parties are a mirage, just like Ron Paul said. So just look into who's funding these groups. Who's funding Black Lives Matter? Who's funding the Women's March? It's not that women are not important or black people aren't important. I mean, actually those issues are really, really important. But just remember, there could be agendas going on above this. And there could be people funding these things as well. And if it's George George Soros, and actually it is. Well, we could learn about what his agenda is. Is his agenda to depopulate the world? Is his agenda to control? And, you know, listen, has he worked with some Republicans in the past to do that? It's highly possible he has. So 
Everything isn't necessarily how it seems. And even if these agendas are true, we can still send love to those people too. But you can be aware, you don't have to get put into the box that you're supposed to be in. Be a Democrat if you're black. Love Trump if you're from the South. You don't have to think like that. There's a bigger picture going on for us all. And there's a bigger picture than just what's going on with you on this earth and with me right now. Time is an illusion. Linear time doesn't actually exist. Look at all the near-death experience studies. Look at all the past life regression studies from Dr. Brian Weiss from Yale, who by the way doesn't like Trump at all. I saw him live in San Diego. Look at Dr. Ian Stevenson's work from the University of Virginia. Thousands of past life regressions. Everything is not how it seems. Time is an illusion. What else could be an illusion? Why are you really here? And so that's why Kanye West and what he's saying right now is so important. People can think it's crazy, and guess what? Everybody's a little bit crazy. That's part of being human. We're kind of given a stacked deck when we get here, when we're born. And you know what? Killing millions of people overseas with our tax dollars in the past 30 years, that's a little crazy too. Killing 500,000 children in Iraq and having the Secretary of State under Clinton, Madeleine Albright, appear on 60 Minutes and say it was worth it. You know, it was difficult, but it was worth it. Do you agree with that? Because I don't. But you know what? I still send love to Madeleine Albright, and I don't know what this agenda is. I have some ideas. I might think Trump is on the right side of things. You know what? I might be wrong. I voted for President Obama. You know, maybe I was wrong there, but I still send love to him too. And so we can forgive ourselves and forgive others, and we can love both sides as much as we can, even though people think we should pick a side and hate the other, and it's playing in our face every day in the news over and over. Pick a side and hate one. Pick a side, hate the other side, hate the other side. And so that's why Kanye West and what he did was heroic. And that's why he's an American hero. So let's look at some of Kanye's tweets. The first thing I saw was 2024. And you know, originally Kanye West was going to run for president in 2020, but it looks like he's going to wait. Maybe he's happy with Donald Trump. Let's take a look. He says, Free thinkers don't fear retaliation for your thoughts. The traditional thinkers are only using thoughts and words, but they are in a mental prison. You are free. You've already won. Feel energized. Move in love, not fear. Be afraid of nothing. I love that. You don't have to agree with Trump, but the mob can't make me not love him. We are both dragon energy. He is my brother. I love everyone. I don't agree with everything anyone does. That's what makes us individuals. And we have the right to independent thought. And so today, again, President Trump was on Fox and Friends, and this is what he said. We want to get to Kanye West. He tweeted that he loves you, that you're his brother. And He's got good taste. the left goes ballistic. What's your reaction? Yeah, well, they do. You know, I have known Kanye a little bit, and I get along with Kanye. I get along with a lot of people, frankly. But Kanye looks and he sees black unemployment at the lowest it's been in the history of our country, okay? He sees Hispanic unemployment at the lowest it's been in the history of our country. He sees, by the way, female unemployment, women unemployment, the lowest it's been in now almost 19 years. He sees that stuff, and he's smart. And he says, you know what? Trump is doing a much better job than the Democrats did. And by the way, if they ever got in and started putting back all these rules and regulations where you can't breathe, where businesses go out of business, our country would be in big trouble. And right. had I not gotten elected, Hillary would have come in. She would have added more rules and regulations. We would have been out of business because you saw what was happening. We were going down. And you know, I know he throws in the Democrats there, but the bottom line, why would somebody who doesn't like women, who doesn't like black people, who doesn't like Hispanic people, why would he be happy that their unemployment rate is the lowest in history or the lowest in 19 years. Just ask yourself that. And it doesn't mean you have to agree with everything President Trump says, but it also doesn't mean you have to hate him. But that's up to you. Let's continue on. Kanye then says this, If your friend jumps off the bridge, you don't have to do the same. Ye being ye is a fight for you to be you. For people in my life, the idea of Trump is pretty much a 50-50 split, but I don't tell a Hillary supporter not to support Hillary. I love Hillary too. He says, I love Hillary too, and I like that. The first video I ever did for Believe, our media network, was sending love to both President Trump and Hillary Clinton, and we did that on election day in 2016, and I'm very proud of that, even though I supported President Trump. Kanye goes on to say this, with love, I am invincible. Truth is subjective, but love is the most powerful force in the world, and the world needs to express more of it. 
And also, I'm all the way out the sunken place. And I'm not scared anymore. I'm not scared of the media. I'm not scared of the past. And I'm optimistic about the future. This tweet is in love, not fear. And I highly recommend you see the movie Justice League. It really talks about fear beings and how they're literally feeding off of our fear. Don't you think that could be true? I do. Let's continue on. No race, religion, region, or political party can argue with the power of love. Fear takes strategy. Unlearn linear thinking. Hit you with these zigzag thoughts. We got love is what Kanye says next. And you see Kanye here with his Make America Great hat signed. And I love this because it's literally, it's in the face of everything. Everything you're told you're supposed to believe. It's right in your face. He then goes on to say, I'm so happy Peter Thiel, who founded PayPal, along with Elon Musk, I believe, agreed to take a meeting with him. He's optimistic about the future. And you know, Peter Thiel, he's a gay person who's a Republican, which I love as well. I think that's great. In fact, I'd love to see a Democrat who doesn't want to tax us more until the budget is balanced. I'd love that too. I like anybody who's willing to think outside the box. That's why I liked Ron Paul and Dennis Kucinich. Ron Paul was basically a libertarian. Dennis Kucinich was a Democrat. And actually they worked together on a lot of things. And I love that. Let's try to get back to that. Anyway, let's get back more into Kanye's tweets. Next he has a tweet saying, black people don't have to be Democrats. And this was from Chance the Rapper. He says, whoa, here we go. And I like that. I like that Chance the Rapper said that. I think it's amazing. He then goes on to say, Let's move in love, not fear. Though hate is a similar emotion to love, hate is not the answer, love is. Just think of someone you hate and try saying even to yourself that you love that person. The world is our family. And I love what Kanye said there and I need to do a better job of that as well. I want to love things more that I thought I should hate. I wanna send love to the toughest parts of the world. If there's pedophilia rings running the world, it doesn't mean I agree with what they do, but we need to send love there, trust me. We need to send love there. That's exactly what it needs. That's exactly what we need to do. Instead of putting people in prison and just having them feel like hell, let's help them love again. Let's help them love each other again. And it's going to be tough if somebody commits a crime on me for me to think that exactly about that specific person. And it could be tough for you as well. But overall, if we adopt this kind of mindset, won't we be much better off? I think we will. Let's continue on. He says, the world is our family. Next, he's got a text message from John Legend, of course, the legendary singer, right? Let's take a look at this text message. Hey, it's JL. I hope you'll reconsider aligning yourself with Trump. You're way too powerful and influential to endorse who he is and what he stands for. As you know, what you say really means something to your fans. They are loyal to you and respect your opinion. So many people who love you feel so betrayed right now because they know the harm that Trump's policies cause, especially to people of color. Don't let this be part of your legacy. You're the greatest artist of our generation. Well, I'm so excited. The greatest artist of our generation and really a celebrity who's absolutely huge, one of the biggest in the world, actually has the courage to come out and say, we should love even the people we disagree with. That's real courage. So Kanye says, I love you, John, and I appreciate your thoughts. You bringing up my fans or my legacy is a tactic based on fear used to manipulate my free thought. John Legend's response is actually pretty good. He goes on to say, Think freely. Think with empathy and context too. Your words and actions have consequences. Much love. And since you're posting texts, let me add that I have a new single out. Ha ha. And Kanye says, ha ha, I love you, John. So Kanye goes on to talk about listening to both sides. Here's what he says. This is year one. We can't add empathy to make America great again by hating. We can only add empathy with love and time and truly hearing all sides. Don't you think it's important to hear all sides of things? I certainly do. After all, we're worried about money and freedom and who knows, Google may have a plan to turn all of humanity over to artificial intelligence and literally upload you into the cloud, basically trapping you into a frequency range, literally ending humanity and turning us all into robots. Are you aware of that? Don't you think you should know all sides? Why isn't the media covering that? And you know what? I still use Google. I send love to the people there too, but you can still look at what their executives are saying and you can decide, hey, is there another way? I think there is. Let's go on further. Kanye says, my friend said he texted all his friends this morning and 
and said, I love you. The concept of loving people has a stigma. Try telling people you love them. It actually feels weird at first. We're really good at hating each other. We have to get good at loving each other. Don't you think this is so powerful? I think it's very powerful. Your conscious should allow a physical manifestation of your subconscious, but right now most people's conscious is too affected by other people's thoughts and it creates a disconnect from you doing what you actually feel now. Instead of doing what you feel, you just do what other people think you should do. We are more worried about what we can lose than what we feel. Spread love. Put more love into the universe is what Kanye tweeted next. And his last tweet that I want to talk about is so beautiful. He says, artists transform tragedy into beauty. I agree. And I happen to think it's the good things in people that live on beyond this life. Even in prisoners, even in criminals, even people who are murderers and who have killed people, even in people I've gotten mad at. And trust me, I ask for forgiveness and I forgive them right now as well. I'm gonna continue to keep doing that. But I think it's the good that lives on. Even in President Trump, even in President Obama, I think the good is what's real and that's what passes on after this life. So can you find the good in yourself? So can you find the good in things you don't agree with as well? Will you help me to do that? Because I want to. Let's just imagine the world if everybody found the good in things just a little bit more. I know I can do a better job of it and that's what Kanye West is saying. Now let's look at what his wife, Kim Kardashian West said as well. She said, to the media trying to demonize my husband, let me just say this. Your commentary on Kanye being erratic and his tweets being disturbing is actually scary. So quick to label him as having mental health issues for just being himself when he has always been expressive. It's not fair. She goes on to say, he's a free thinker. Is that not allowed in America? Because some of his ideas differ from yours, you have to throw in the mental health card? That's just not fair. He's actually out of the sunken place when he's being himself, which is very expressive. By the way, what is the sunken place? Somebody fill me in, leave a comment below. Now when he spoke out about Trump, she says, most people, including myself, have very different feelings and opinions about this, but this is his opinion. I believe in people being able to have their own opinions, even if really different from mine. He never said he agrees with his politics. She finishes up, Kanye will never run in the race of popular opinion, and we know that, and that's why I love him and respect him. And in a few years, when someone else says that same exact thing, but they aren't labeled the way he is, and you will all praise them, Kanye is years ahead of his time. So I agree with Kim Kardashian, and I agree with Kanye West. God is actually within you. We don't have to look for him up in the sky or anywhere else. You are an extension of God. God is living within you right now. And God is in Kanye West as well. We are all God. Everything is spiritual, even the tough things, even the bad things, even when I'm not perfect, even when you're not perfect. It's all spiritual. It's not just when you go to church. So when you hear about people developing cars that are electric, that don't need to run on gas, like this guy here, who by the way is a black guy from Zimbabwe. When you hear about these people, when you hear about free energy like Nikola Tesla was working on, that literally with 3D printers could end world poverty. That means with free energy, which we've probably already had for 100 plus years, you have to wonder why are we being controlled with money when free energy and advanced 3D printers would eliminate the need for money at all? Everything you need is already here. We already have that technology. It's just been hidden. And you know what? We can forgive the people who have hidden it from us and we can ask them, hey man, let's open this up to everybody. Nikola Tesla was working on this in Long Island, New York when JP Morgan pulled the financing to free energy and it literally could end our dependency on money completely. How would our world change if we didn't have to worry about people lying because of money or people trying to get ahead and just think about themselves just to get more money? Or if we could actually cooperate instead of compete all of the time? Even though I grew up playing football and I think it's fun to play games and stuff like that and compete. But honestly, it's being shoved down our throat and we can stop this and Kanye West is a brave man for just pointing this fact out. So we've hired people in Venezuela to work on producing free energy. I'm paying for it myself. It's not to make money. I put thousands of dollars into it and I'm most proud of that. And you can start your own free energy project as well. Because with things like free energy and 3D printers, if somebody needs a shirt, you just print it. It's free. Guess what? All of consumerism ends. It's not socialism, it's not capitalism, it's beyond both. Everybody has enough food to eat. You know, they can print human organs with 3D printers. You can print a handgun with 3D printers. The army recently printed an AI squid with a 3D printer that's self-aware. You could do a lot of things with free energy and 3D printers. 
Nobody ever has to need anything again. Money is a control structure. That's all it is. Again, free energy, which likely already exists, would free everyone of that control so that you can survive and finally really harmonize yourself and others. And we can do that. Just think about if you could stop having to battle over money. Stop dealing with people who lie because of money. We can harmonize Wi-Fi, 5G, things we aren't being told. Remember, we see a very little portion of the visible light spectrum. Almost everything that's real, we can't see. 16 parts of China are getting ready to use Skynet, where they can scan the population in seconds. And it's not just China. The UK is involved as well. Are you aware of this? Is the news telling you that? Are they talking about Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and who should hate who? Why isn't this stuff in the news? So when celebrities like Kanye West talk about freeing your mind, thinking for yourself, finding your own truth, I love it. It's the best thing that could possibly happen in this world today. And I encourage more celebrities to do that. In fact, Kanye West, I'd love to interview you in person. I will come to Los Angeles. We can find solutions. I don't know everything, but I know there's a lot more to things than I first thought when I was growing up. And Kanye West is realizing that too. We don't have to be right about everything. You can find your own truth. And that's what I've been doing. Just remember, former Pentagon officials are now going on CNN and Fox and talking about, you know what, they've spent $20 million, which by the way, that figure's very low, studying UFOs. They're coming out now with footage from the Department of Defense on Tucker Carlson, primetime Fox News, and it's not a joke. They're saying this is real UFO footage. We don't know what it is. These things are defying the laws of physics. That means, guess what? Free energy is real. With free energy, there is no poverty. You don't have to worry about money, and we've had this technology for over 100 years, in my opinion. That's what Nikola Tesla was working on. So we are not alone. Everything you see, that's not the whole story. Just remember, dogs and cats can't see color. Does that mean color's real? There's a lot we can't see that is very real. Before radio waves were discovered, were radio waves real? Think about it. So share this video if you support celebrities leading with love, if you support the idea that we can love both sides, if you support the idea that we can love things we think we should hate, if you can support unity and coming together, share this video on Facebook, on Twitter, on your website, wherever you can. Let's get celebrities' attention. Let's praise them for being open-minded, no matter what you or I believe about any political candidate. There's a greater system going on above politics, and there's a lot more going on than just what we see here on this earth. I do think love is a solution. To me, love is understanding, and that can mean understanding a lot of tough things about ourselves and about others. I've certainly had to understand a lot of tough things about myself. I continue every day, and I need your prayers, and I pray for you, and prayer can mean anything. It can mean simply sending positive energy your way if I really don't even agree with you on everything. And I hope you'll do the same for me. And when we do that and we find common ground, I think we'll actually get somewhere. What do you think? Leave your comments below or at our website, www.believe.love. I'm Nicholas Upchurch. Thank you for joining me on Believe. Have a great day or night, wherever you may be.